so i am an omnivore i eat plants and i eat meat and and other foods my question to you is i see that various as i start researching this and i wanted to do this uh, series on plant based diets and i think i'm going to do a series on keto and others my my question is every food group lover seems to be very much entrenched in their pattern of the food is this um just a matter of opinion that we become anchored or why is this disconnect that is present amongst various groups what is your opinion well people you know believe things based on their socialization and learning as a you know so it gets indoctrinated into their into their body and they can't be part of, part of their personality we're trying to change people's personalities give them more wisdom and you know and, and have them eat but by the overwhelming amount of scientific evidence and results on their own bodies so it's it's almost like a religion people you know religion want to believe that their religion is the right religion the one they were learned with from their family and every other religion is wrong it's the same thing that people like what they eat and they eat that way because they like it and they're looking for reasons to to justify their continued behavior from what they've learned as, as you know what they brought up in so i think that people have to be willing to question and to actually you know think about the profound implication of what your food choices could be on your future um but i'm also suggesting here that the most surprising and strong in scientific data from numerous scientific studies that corroborate each other in the field of human nutrition over the last decade and we're talking about studies that have high credence because they follow people for 20 or 30 years and look at hard endpoints like death or cancer or heart attack rates and what these studies have shown is that the more animal protein in the diet based on amount or percent of total calories increases risk of premature death and keto diets as a whole had the highest amount of premature death as defined by deaths before below the age of 70 and that even though an animal protein is life span shortening a dose dependent relationship just as plant protein foods rich in plant protein have a dose dependent relationship with enhancing longevity and cancer protection and the reason i'm saying these studies i think show plant protein is so protective It's not like taking the protein out of a soybean and giving it to you an isolated soy protein. It's not the plant protein extracted from the food. It's that people are eating plant foods that contain protein and along with those proteins contain a huge amount of phytoprotective phytochemicals and antioxidants. And the foods that are highest in protein from the plant kingdom are green vegetables, nuts and seeds and beans. And the combination of green vegetables, nuts and seeds and beans act like a nat- natural GTPL, you know, inhibitor or whatever they have. You know, they're in other words they reduce gastric emptying, make people satisfied. and they supply more, they supply adequate and contain you know adequate protein but the point i'm making is that the protein may be a flag in plants that's just marking the high content of phytochemicals it's not necessarily the protein itself but in animal protein you're obviously marking the amount of you know sometimes saturated fat but more or less the animal protein itself is growth promoting and allows hormones to get to the level to allow cancer cells to replicate as well as producing certain bacteria in the gut and those bacteria in the gut that they can say overgrow from eating animal protein are more pro-inflammatory substances that increase the the level of you know of um you know other other um toxins right like be it like um TGA or BMAAA other toxins that come off from the bad healthy bacteria that can inflame the blood vessel inflame blood vessel growth. Now, Mr. thank you. Sorry, there's please. more there's a little more of the story has to do with the toxins that filter down in the, in the plastics and the over and the extra growth of algae from commercial farming and dumping nitrogen in coastal areas nitrogen in plastics in coastal areas um and pollution in the water so that lake fish and particularly shellfish and bivalves caught off the continental shelf are high so we have more cyanobacteria for algae overgrowth so there's more BMAA actually in shellfish and bivalves that are linked to people with lake fish or shellfish or by linked to higher rates of parkinson's dementia syndrome and ALS so we're also a little concerned with getting um 
or a lot of omega threes from seafood or zinc from you know doing that because of the pollution in in the, in the waterways. 